Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another very special edition of RxMuscle.com's world famous Recap Wednesday, where we're kicking off today's coverage from over on the other side of the Atlantic at the second annual Muscle Contest Ireland Pro. And just as we predicted right here on the show last week, the win went to 46-year-old Samuel Haddad, who brought in his all-time best to grab the Olympia qualification. Coming in second was a very sharp Hamid Juma, who managed to edge out a strong effort from third place finisher Jose Raul Sanchez. Fourth place went to Israeli standout Sahar Kaziz, and closing out a very international top five was South Korea's Kim Jong Ho. Over here on our side of the pond, the City of Angels brought out some of the best in the men's physique division for the annual LA Grand Prix. In the men's open, the red hot Arya Safi finally found himself as the last man standing as he delivered the best overall look of his career to snag the win. Second place went to the surging Joseph Lee, who's really been coming on strong lately. And closing out the top three was the dangerous one, Zavidis Gavin. On the men's master side of things, the gold medal award went to Texas native Berlando McKay, who took care of business here to earn his first career win. Second place went to Canada's Michael Geyer, and wrapping up a pretty competitive top three was Oakland's own Robert Arthur. One of the big mistakes that I think millennials make is comparing themselves to others today, rather than who they were yesterday. And I'll tell you what, Alexis Sullivan is doing one hell of a job blowing past the person she saw in the mirror the day before. A few days ago, Team Sullivan released a new progress update of the rising figure star, who looks like she's getting better by the day in her first prep of the season. Last year, Sullivan basically came out of nowhere to win the Toronto Pro in the second show of her rookie season. So now that she's had a chance to run the gamut and really get a look at what the Pro League has to offer, I'm curious to see what she has up her sleeve for an encore. Speaking of people who are getting better by the day, second year women's physique pro Alyssa Isley is doing all that and then some. Ten days out from her season debut at next weekend's St. Louis Pro, the Isley camp seems to be firing on all cylinders. A few weeks ago, we talked to one of our sources inside Team Isley who told us that they thought she would be head and shoulders above where she was a year ago. And based on the photos, I'm starting to think they might have actually undersold it a little bit. So if she can pull it all together and time her peak just right, she might have enough gas in the tank to compete for a top three finish. I guess the Midwest must be a popular destination this spring because recently we got word that four-time figure Olympian Wendy Fortino is also planning to make the St. Louis Pro the next stop on her calendar. Yesterday, the Fortino camp released a clip on their Instagram from a shoulder workout as she prepares to dial things in over these final two weeks. Last year, Wendy put together one of the best looks of the season in St. Louis, and the judges awarded her with a second place finish for her efforts. So if she comes even 5% better than she was there, that might be all it takes to push her up another spot into the winner's circle. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.